So that's me finished my three by two tarp. It's got the made in Scotland uh, label on it. I'll just give you a, a look round it. So I'm just taking some photos because I'm going to. I've got a bit of excess of these tarps, so I'm going to sell some of them. Uh, I don't need to have as many taps as I've got uh, so we'll just have a wee look let's get this tap's got 15 tie outs like I say it's a it's a three by two it doesn't really need any more than 15, uh, 15 tie outs uh, but that, that tarp is probably a good size for two people and it's still light enough that you could take it backpacking or cycling on your bike. It comes in about two kilos. Uh, and that's probably my limit to a shelter weight that I would take my bike. So, and unlike like nylon, lightweight nylon tarps, which I have a few of them, when you put a, night, an, a lightweight nylon tap up, uh, they're nice and tight, uh, but they don't feel like sturdy sturdy. This tarp, when you put this up, this feels like a garden shed. And the more tie outs you put on it, or the more sort of guy lines and it makes it even stronger and I could have a fire right out front here have a fire right in front of you and the sparks won't melt it and you could get all the heat just circling around the the tarp in a cold or a colder night keep you warm uh, so they're ideal for colder weather and hot weather because they do give a lot of shade so they, get, they keep you cool in the summer and they've got more insulation so they keep you warmer in the winter uh, just have a look underneath it so that's the first one finished I've got a 4x3 four by, four by almost finished so there's plenty of room in here that's uh, inside part of the tie out uh, so you've got three tie outs up the centre so you can set up in different configurations and this is long enough way long enough uh, I'm on a hill at the moment but if it was a bit flatter it's way long enough for you to lie and your head would come to you about here probably about there your head would come and you've got all that overhang the fire could be there. There's plenty of room to sit. Uh, aye. Great little tarps. Uh, so the 4x3 is twice as, twice as long or twice as wide, whatever you want to say. And it'll be probably twice the weight as well. So I, I don't think you would take the 4x3 hiking or biking, that's more of a, a car camping tarp. But I really made them to cover my bow tent. I'm not going to actually use these tarps for my bow tent. I've got a navy blue fabric which is heavier. Uh, that I'm going to use for my bow tent because the bow tent will be tra uh, travelling in a car so it doesn't really matter about the weight of it so these are great mid-weight uh, tarps they're actually a uh, 8812 flame resistant fabric which is 88% nylon and 12% high tensile Oh sorry, 88% 88 cotton and 12% high tensile nylon. It makes it lighter than canvas and stronger than canvas 
but you get all the benefits of canvas you get the feel of the canvas the smell of the canvas it's a canvas experience uh, but lighter and they dry out much quicker than a canvas tarp does too uh, so all round I'm very happy with the fabric and I'm very happy with the way they've turned out so that's a 2 by 3 made in Scotland canvas tarp and that's your full flat filled seam runs all the way across and we'll have a look at the inside seam you can see that runs all the way across the, the centre of the tarp that's your tie outs and these tie outs are I mean an ele two elephants can you pull that tarp apart it's that strong so that's the first one down and I've got probably eight or nine more to make so that's that then